some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Michigan, where we find a, uh, well, real brainiac of a soft-tart wannabe who apparently uh, tries to flee the police by climbing in the back seat and, and pretends to go to sleep to try to avoid an arrest. But you know what? It really doesn't work out for him. He still gets arrested in the end. And speaking of arrests, I've got a great soft-tard video on the other end of this video where a soft-tard plays F around and finds out and, well, finds out the hard way that you can't get away with any of this stuff. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> Yo. Hello. Central 955, would you start me in that another unit? He's uh, refusing to talk to me. Okay, okay. What this brainiac uh, does right after the officer catches him speeding is he uh, takes the keys out of the ignition and he climbs over the seat to the back and he pretends to go to sleep in order to try to fool the uh, officer, so he's playing possum, probably thinking that the officer is too dumb to figure it out. I don't know what's going through this guy's head. I mean, some people are just so dumb, they think the other people are just as stupid or dumber than they are. I mean, you know, like crauditors. Um, hey, dumbass, uh, yeah, this trick doesn't work if the officer is standing there watching you do it. I mean, yeah, we got a real genius on our hands, don't we? I don't! he crawled in the back seat and was acting like he's asleep. Howdy. He came flying past on 31 once and then he did it again so i stopped him this time he, he was going to go straight through and then he pulled in the left turn lane pulls in here stops and wouldn't open the door or talk and then uh he climbed in the back seat i think he put the key under the seat yeah yeah he's he, i pulled in right behind him and i came up to the window open the you know i knocked down the window i'm like uh hey and uh he just crawls in the back seat and goes to sleep yeah, if you could. If you want to yeah. just write it down, I'll read it off to you. Oh, yeah, shoot. Uh well, in this epic game of Fafo, the uh, police uh, run the VIN number and discover an interesting fact of the matter. That the tag is expired and that the vehicle doesn't belong to the driver. You know, this guy's stupidity is outrageously, truly... Shocking. Yeah. Yeah, he's... He's driving like hell. Did you get a speed? No, he passed me earlier, uh, westbound, and then he came back eastbound. I'm like, oh, not twice. Yeah. And then he was gonna go straight through, and at the last second, he kind of pulled out an angle and left turn lane right in front of me, and I saw I didn't have a plate, so I lit him up, he pulled in here, and he was sitting in the driver's seat, and he just sitting there, so I knocked down the window, and he went, he kind of leaned against the window, <laughs> and then, and then he crawled in the back. And you know what else is shocking? They end up discovering that this idiot savant has a uh, revoked license and has already been charged once with operating without a license already. Oh boy, dude. Uh, yeah, you're turning into a wonderful sovereign citizen candidate. You've already got the intelligence for it. Uh, now you just got to get all the uh, arrests and uh, pullovers and everything like that. Then you'll truly be qualified. Sounds like obstruction to me. Yeah. Gonna be missing a window soon. Uh, returning expired. He's not the RO. No, of course not. That'd be too easy, right? Yeah. I see if I recognize him. I don't. Well, since this lack brain sovtard wannabe uh, continues to, uh, well, be unresponsive, the police have their own response. 
they're going to end up having to call Safe Life Repair, Safe Life Replace, and most likely charge this idiot for the uh, repair costs. Hey, open the door. You're under arrest. Gonna break the window, dude. Hey, your window's gonna be broke. Open the door. Can you see his hands? Yeah. Um, I can see yeah. his right hand, but his left hand is under his body. I, I so. didn't. I didn't see he had anything when he crawled back because he was in the driver's seat. So. Right. Last chance. Open the door. Yep. Let me see your hands now. Get out. Hands now. Hands now. Get out. Oh, my hands get are up, dude. Out of the car. Whoa, dude. Get out. Whoa. You're gonna get tased, guy. Whoa, I don't want to get tased. Get out then. then start Come out of the car. Whoa. Yeah, well, you guys. Get out of the car. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Taser. Come on. Come on. It's flash, guys. You're just gonna. Well, then you sure. Yes, whoa, let's whoa, go. Whoa, go. Out go. of the car. Go, guys. Guys, you guys are in cup. You guys are in cup. Get in your stomach. Be safe. Stomach. Be safe. Hey, be safe. Be guys. Be guys. Come on. Don't hurt your feet, guys. Put All your hands right. behind your back. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. Oh, 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 oh. Well, smartass, uh, if you cared so much about broken glass and all that, maybe you should have uh, stopped playing the game of Fafo. And maybe you wouldn't be in this situation. Because, you know, the more you F around, the more you're going to find out. I got cuffs right here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry. Just stop pulling away from me. I'm not trying to. Hold still. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is this worth going to jail? Uh, no, sir. Then what are you doing? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you drunk or high or something? No, sir. Then what are you doing? I just didn't want to get arrested. Well, look what happened. What? Was that a good plan? No. You happy with your decision? No, sir. I've no, seen sir. dumb people, but you're pretty good. Oh Here. my god, sir. Roll sir. on your side. Sir, I'm not trying to... Is this car stolen or something? No, sir. Dead body in the trunk? No, sir. No, sir. What the... Yeah. What the f that's that's our question at this point. Why Aww. Why didn't you talk to me when I came up to you? Roll I'm over. I'm trying to talk to you. Roll over. Oh, oh my shoulder. Oh. Hang on. Okay, I'm hanging. I'm hanging, officer. I'm hanging. What is that? What is that? It's a crumb. I, I'm a, I, I'm a, sh I'm a cook. I'm a line cook. That's a crumb. That's a crumb from bread. That's. A I'm not talking to you. I'm not saying I, it's anything. I, just I know, be quiet. Just, okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's my uncle's car, man. That's my uncle. That's my uncle's car. I was just sleeping in it. You weren't sleeping in it. Yes, sir. I was. I was sleeping in it. It's my uncle's car. Okay. Uncle's just quit talking. Yes, sir. I'll talk to you. Yes, sir. Oh, my shoulder. Yeah, EMS is on their way. They're gonna come take those probes out. Oh no, no, sir, no, sir. I'm good. I'll, I can walk home. Okay. No, you can't. Why not? Okay, listen. I'm not as big <sighs> as you, but I can walk, sir. You're, you're, you're under arrest. Okay, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to the presence of an attorney if you can't afford one. One will be appointed to represent you if you wish. If you decide to answer questions and change your mind, just say so, and I'll quit asking you questions. Yes, sir. Do you understand that? Do you understand those rights? It's a yes or no question. Yes, sir. You understand those rights. Are you willing to talk to me? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So you're a good tell... guy. I can tell you're a good guy. Okay, so tell me what happened. I have been here trying to get McDonald's. No. Okay. Yeah. Let's start over. Okay. Okay, because I'm not stupid. Okay. And I'm I'm treating you with respect, so I'm don't treat cold. me like I'm an idiot. No, I'm just cold. No, man. no. And, my, and the okay. taser hurts. Yeah, I, it does. So tell coldness. me what happened. So I got out of work today. Okay, you got out of work. And I just tried to go home. I'm just trying to go home. Where do you live? Yes, well, why why were you coming this way? Because I couldn't find the keys in my camper. Okay, so you went flying past me on 31. Was it you I fly past? Yeah. And then you came flying back. So you're coming to get your keys? I'm looking for them. Okay, I stopped behind you at the light there, and then you turned in here, and I, I put my lights on before we turned in here, right? Do you see me behind you? Do you see me behind you? Did you see me behind you with the lights on? I don't know you, sir, but... I don't know you I either, but I still have my, my flash of lights on, right? Hey. Meth? You got meth? You, you found meth on me? You got meth? No, sir. I don't do meth. I've no? I've never done meth. What do you do? Just drink? No, sir. Have you I'm been drinking, drinking tonight? No, sir. Okay, so then why when I lit you up and you pulled in here and I came up to the, to the door and was knocking on it, why wouldn't you talk to me? Because I don't have a driver's license. You don't? 
So why wouldn't you talk to me? And then and then you climbed in I the back. I just bought the car, sir. I just bought the car. Uh, yeah, I, I, I understand bought, that. Yeah. I just bought the car, sir, and I'm okay. just trying to get home, sir. Okay. Well, um, would you? Uh, you haven't had anything to drink? No, sir. Okay. Would you be willing to take a PBT for me? No, sir. You wouldn't. Okay. Make sure you write him a ticket for it then. Because uh, it smells like it smells like you've been drinking. He said it smells like he's been drinking, so okay. go down that road too. Good work. I have not been drinking. You sir. have not been drinking? No, sir. Then why won't you take a PBT? Because I have not been drinking. Well, then that's all the more reason to take a PBT. Because I think you have. So what will happen is I'll get a search warrant and I'll get your blood anyway. So it just makes things harder on you. So what's your first name? You're going to bring the ambulance? What's your first name? Rick. Is it Richard? Yes, sir. Richard Whiting. What's your middle name, Richard? <laughs> what does that say? <laughs> What does that say? Big mouth guy. Yeah. Not Richard. Did you think I was going to go away? Did you think I was going to leave? No, you're going to take care of me, aren't you? You bet. You're a good guy, man. I know you're a good guy. You're going to take care of me. You're going to bring me in jail, right? Yes. Yes, sir. Can I stand up? No, you can't. No, sir. Hi, we're just, we got to get we're the barbs out for you. Okay, yes, ma'am. Oh, I feel, I, they're, they're on my hands. They're on my hands. Yeah. I got, I got right here. You can just, you can just yep, grab from me. Yep, you, just, you can just grab from okay. me. Hold they're right still. there. We're gonna. Yes, ma'am. Straight, just straight. Straight? Okay. Hold still, boss. Yes, ma'am. get the one out of your shoulder. I know it's hard with the... Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, 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 Ooh, oh god, wow. that's like a prickly. That's like a pricker. Another one. Yep. Wait, well, oh, what are they called? The pricker? Pr the, oh, the, they're called barbs. Oh, right barbs? Here. Prickers? Oh, well, can I just walk home? Am I going to jail? Yeah, I already told you you're going to jail. It's it's between his legs up front. It's under, yeah, it's under. Yeah. Hey, you might have hey, to have boss, a tool. Walk, you might walk have to up have... on your right hip for me, home. Yes, ma'am. Where do you want me to go, sir? Just kind of want you to. Sure. There you go, just like that. Perfect. Okay. This is cold out here. I can't believe it got so cold so fast tonight. It's yeah. not cold. No, it did. You got some cold so fast tonight. Yeah, if I put 4x4 this way, just tape it on. 4x4? This is not a truck situation. We don't need a truck for this. That's true. 4x4, it's not necessary. Yeah, this is Can I seek medical attention? Yeah, that's what, you're, that's what you got. Because I'm in serious pain right now. Well, next time, open the door. It'd be much easier. You just guys really frightened me. I'm just sorry. I'm just, it's really frightened me all of a sudden. You're, you're, so, you're so scared you climbed in the back and went to sleep? <laughs> Wow. I almost shit my pants, brother. Really? I almost shit my pants. Yeah, that's when the window broke. Before that, you weren't that, scared. I definitely shit my pants there. Yeah. I definitely shit my pants. Yeah, before that, I don't think you were scared, though. No, I don't want to shit my pants. Yeah. No, nobody does. Yeah, please don't. Nobody tries to. <laughs> Dude, it does get cold at how night. Lo how long you had this car? I just bought it today. Today? Yes, and who, you bought it from your uncle? What's his name? No, no, no. I'm, my, I bought it for my uncle. You bought it for your uncle. Yes, sir. Big oh. money guy. Who'd you who'd you Big buy it from? I bought it I bought it from a guy in Tarver City. Do you know his name? Yep, his name Aaron. Eric? Aaron. Aaron? Double A. There's an A at the beginning and an A afterwards and then Aaron. Yeah, I got it. Do you have any paperwork at all? Yes, sir. Where is it? At my up. camper. One, that's where... Where's your camper? All good? Yeah. You give us? Yeah. You all good? I'm I'm okay. All right. all right, I'm gonna have you stand up. All right. Yeah, my hips are bad. My hips are hurting. Okay. What can I? Can I okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. However you want. Yes, sir. Come right back here. Mm -hmm. Quit tensing up. I'm not. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's cold out too. You know. I'm shivering. Jeez. I think that's uh, adrenaline. That's why you're shivering because it's not really cold. It was warm earlier. Yeah, the sun was out. It does that. This tribal? Are you guys tribal police? Right. Are you tribal, please? See that? Grand Travers. Oh, you guys are saying okay. Michigan? Oh, yeah. Oh, you guys are filling in that's where you, That's where you are. Can I have you have a seat in the car? Oh, safe, please. You guys are big shots. Oh, those are big shots, too. All right. Go ahead and have a seat. Sit in the car. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah? I think so. It's hard to... He's got a lot more hair. This idiot was taken to the hospital to check his uh, blood alcohol content and uh, well uh, made threats to the officers and everything like that and he was ultimately charged with uh, obstruction of uh, officers and uh, uh, resisting arrest and uh, even DUI. So yeah, he really after around, he really found out. Oh boy, yeah. So now let's go ahead and enjoy a uh, 
video of a soft tart who gets arrested on multiple violations and even has a warrant out for his arrest already. So yeah, another total dumbass. And I do apologize for the quality of this video. Blame it on the soft tart's camera. This is what I'm fixing to hand him. Is there an emergency? No, sir. You're driving a truck that does not have valid license plates on it. Uh, it don't need it. Well, dude, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but according to the 10th Amendment, which grants the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution, you do indeed need to have license registration plates and everything like that. Every state requires them. Because you know what, if we didn't drive around with any insurance, then how would any injuries be covered or anything like that? If we didn't drive without plates, how would we know whose vehicle is whose? And the list of things goes on and on about the possibilities and issues of these traffic violations that you seem to have following you around. Okay. Do you have your driver's license proof? I'm not, I'm not uh, waving any of my rights. I want to go ahead and hand you this. Okay, uh, so you can officer, just so you know, my name is Officer Lightfoot with the Call Station Police Department. Okay, the okay, stop this for the plate. You might right. want to call caps. Go, go ahead and hand you that. What is this, sir? You can read it. Car, I presume you can read. Is there no, no emergency? Oh, you're being stopped for a traffic violation. Okay, you might want to call your supervisor. I want to speak to your. Yeah. Well, very rarely does calling a supervisor to the traffic stop ever help anything. And in fact, this case is no different because once a supervisor arrives, he does his job and assesses the situation and determines, yeah, you have a warrant out for your arrest, so therefore, you're getting arrested. Okay, he's on the way. Can you step out of the truck for me? Uh, what, what's your probable cause for me stepping out of the truck? You're under arrest. I'm under arrest for what? For the traffic violations, because you've been warned about this and cited for it. Uh, I times. went to Step I went to truck. court. Step I went to truck. court on this. Truck, I would prefer Step your truck, supervisor. Please. I'd prefer no, your supervisor get out here. Nine. Can you start this way? He's refusing to get out of the truck. Can you please get out of the truck, sir? Uh, I'll wait for your supervisor. Can you please get out of the truck? I'll wait for your supervisor. Okay. We can do that. Would you mind just keeping your hands up there? You can report me all you want, doing all that stuff. Can you put your hand, the other hand, up there for me, sir? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Okay, I just want to be able to see your hands. That's all. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, you've been. Uh, I respect you. You've been respectful to me. All right. So, were you waiting on me? I'm sorry. I said y'all been waiting on me. No, I saw you pulling out from. Uh, yeah, y'all been waiting on me. I saw y'all been stalking me. Y'all been stalking me. I recognize your truck. How do you recognize my truck? Because it's got the private tags on it. Yeah, dude, uh, San Franciscans are not exactly the brightest bunch out there. Uh, they, if they wanted to attract attention to themselves, putting uh, private plates on their vehicle is a, certainly a way they do that because, for one, they are not exactly legal, so they uh, attract attention of anybody who has the sense enough to notice it. And number two, well... These sovereign citizens are nothing but a bunch of morons anyway. Oh, so you're stalking me? No, I was driving down the road and then I made a U-turn because I saw you turn. Okay, you, you don't want to fill this out? No, you can keep that. If no, I, I want you to fill this out. You have to fill this out by law. Okay. Um, no, he is not required by law to fill that thing out if it's one of those sovereign citizen questionnaires that tend to pop up from time to time in these videos. No, it is definitely not the law that the officer fills it out. What's next? Are you going to present him with case laws that are completely irrelevant to the situation? Oh yeah, I already know that because I've already watched the video. He's going to present case laws and not even name them on camera. What an amateur. Okay, but just leave it right here for now. Okay? And, and okay. Uh, Supreme Court has also ruled that... Uh, uh, I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and give you this too. Let me show you what I'm giving them. Okay, I'll take it, but just hang on to it for now. Okay? Now I want you to read it. We're waiting for my supervisor, right? Okay, yep. See, told you. He just presents it to the camera, figuring that the camera would be able to read it. Uh, 
Um, nope. The uh, picture is a pixelated mess. Thank you very much, you dumbass sovereign citizen. Uh, and at least give us the name of the cases that you're trying to present on camera, so that way we can uh, at least identify where you're going wrong at. You can go ahead and read this too. Okay, just hang on to it for now, sir. Just hang on to it for now. You're refusing to take it? No, I'm not. I said well, hang but, on to it for now. But you can read it, right? You can read it while you're waiting, right? Sir, I'm talking to you. Okay. I'm trying to be respectful and give you my attention. No, oh, I don't need your attention. Okay, well, you were stopped for, you lawfully stopped. Lawfully? No. Yeah. I keep my stuff's blowing away. Can I'll you grab it? it? I'll go get it in a minute. All right. Is there a reason why you don't want to just get out of the vehicle and talk to me? Because, yeah, because you're a fuck. You're 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 you got a gun. You're holding your hand on your gun. I'm just resting my hand. <laughs> on my yeah, because no, you already you already said I'm under arrest, and you're asking me questions. So I'll go ahead and plead my so Fifth are Amendment. Are you resisting? Are you resisting arrest? No, right now? I'm not resisting arrest. Okay. I want to know why I'm under arrest. He's already stated it several times, dude. You're under arrest for the your history of traffic violations. And yes, they are violations, and enough of them can get you arrested. You're not above the law. Why am I under arrest? For the track violations, you've that's been a, That's an arrestable you have, offense. You have been cited yeah, in the court, times and, for those, which means that the citations are and, not working. It is oh, no, 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 no. Have I been to court? I'm sorry? Have I been to court? I don't know what you're referring to, sir. Oh, you don't know what I'm referring to? Well, okay. I don't know the, the point of your question. Okay. Uh, the court decides that, right? No, so whenever somebody is stopped for a traffic stop, citations are issued in lieu of arrest. Hey, Connor, you can you uh, can, can you call Billy and tell him to come and get Stormy? I'm getting arrested again. And your name again? My name is John Lightfoot. I work with Call Station Police Department. Badge is 1143. 1143 Lightfoot. Yes, sir. John Lightfoot. All right, John Lightfoot. I'm turning my car off. Don't shoot me. That's fine. Hey, like I said, you, you've been nothing but cool with me, man. I, I, yeah, but, but I you, don't have an issue with you. <laughs> yeah, but I'm doing a constitutionally protected activity. Constitutionally protected activity. What are you talking about? Driving? Uh, no, I'm not driving. I'm traveling. Well, now we at least know he's been watching a lot of frauditors, too, considering he just said, I am doing a constitutionally protected activity. But anyway, dude, uh, driving is a privilege. Traveling is a right. We all have the right to travel. It's just that driving is regulated by the state. And with good reason, too. Would you want somebody who's not insured, registered, and licensed, who doesn't know how to operate a vehicle very well to be driving down the public roadways uh, and have an accident and end up uh, harming somebody or worse? I mean, did you ever think about that? No? Well, of course you didn't because uh, you sovereign citizens, you sovereign only think about yourselves, the here and now. Okay, I got you. You got okay. me? So you want to read this? Like I said, once I'm able to do that and I'm able to do that safely, I will do that. Okay. I'm in um, Home Depot and um, the Home Let's Depot see. and um, University and Highway 6. They were waiting on me, stalking me again. You saw me driving down the road and I recognize your truck. I recognize your truck because you do it, you drive around and you've been told multiple times it's not legal so uh, not legal it you is legal 100 percent. no i don't no i don't well if you read this you would understand maybe once again i'm gonna okay. try to hand it to him go ahead and put that back in the car mm. i've already told you do you have your driver's license on you sir Hey, uh, I'm at uh, Home Depot on University, Connor. University and... Um, on this side. Yes, he's not a supervisor, is he? You might want to You might want to call Caps. Also coming. You might want to... Okay. Yeah, he's, 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 he's coming. He's
You might want to call Couch. I'm having a meeting with Couch. You might want to call Couch. He said he's already knows this one, so they've been stalking me and harassing no, me. That's not what I said. Yeah, it is what you said. Not what I said. All right, thanks, Connor. Are you able to hang with him for a second? Yeah. Name a badge number. Mr. Clack. Oh, you know me. I'm well, Officer Rainey out with the call station police department. My badge number is 1455. Hey, uh, my, my partner here, he asked you to step out of the vehicle. Is there a reason you're not stepping out? What's your probable cause for me to step out? So there, there's case law that says that uh, an officer... But you need probable cause. No, that is not true. Okay. Okay. With it being said, my partner has already told you that you were under arrest, so you do need to come out of the vehicle. I've been under arrest for what? I won't, I'm going to wait till your supervisor because I'm okay, scared of y'all. That's fine, sir. I'm I'm physically scared of y'all. Y'all are y'all are going to fucking kill me. Okay. Well, I, I got no reason to do that. Yeah. You I got no reason to follow me around and talk to me either. Hey, y'all. I'm at a Home Depot on uh, University. If somebody wants to come and get Stormy, they're going to arrest me again. You want to read this? That's fine. I don't need to read that right now. I just need you to step out of the vehicle for me. Is your supervisor here? He's on his way. Okay, I'll wait for your supervisor. Once again, another vehicle just pulled up. I believe that's my supervisor there. Okay. Yep. Name your badge number? I uh, know. I've met you before. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I can't hear you. I've met you before. What's that? I said, I've met you before. Okay. So, what's going on today? They said you wanted a supervisor. Uh, yes. He says I'm under arrest for traveling. Oh, way to twist the words around. Way to make you out to be the victim rather than the other way around. No, you are under arrest for multiple traffic violations over a period of time. You are not under arrest for traveling. If that were the case, Everybody would be arrested, you bloody moron. Uh, I believe he said you were under arrest for, was it no registration and no license And no plate. license plate. The things you've been cited for multiple times. Yeah, and I went to court, and the judge hasn't decided if I can or can't yet. Okay. So you, you might want to read these. These are case laws. Okay. Will you, will you take a minute to read these? Okay. So you're under arrest. Okay. So we need to for for road. under arrest for driving uh, for trap not driving but for traveling down the roadway. Correct. Do you have a supervisor? Uh, no, I don't. You don't have a you don't have a sergeant because you're just a corporal. Is there is there a lieutenant or somebody with brass? There's no lieutenants here tonight. There's no lieutenants here tonight. No sir. Okay, you know I'm having a meeting with your uh, chief, right? Okay. You don't care about that either. The, uh, to be discussing this because y'all been. I'm not sure what that has to do with this situation. This situation, because this is constitutionally protected activity. Okay. So, you're under arrest for the charges that we said. If you don't step out of the vehicle, you're going to be additionally charged with interference. Interference. Sorry. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn my truck on so I can roll up my windows. No, don't do that, Mr. Clack. I'm just we'll gonna roll up my windows. windows. Up after the fact. What's that? We'll turn your windows up after the fact. After you the can fact. Do it with the door open, so that way we know that you're not gonna take off on it. That's what I'm doing. I'm not trying to crank it on. Hey, Mr. Fuck, man.
Well, now, there you have it, folks. The guy ended up getting arrested for all this. Uh, and I checked his channel. He hasn't said anything else uh, pertaining to this particular arrest. But then again, he po only posted this on his live streams about two weeks ago. So who knows what's been going on with it since then. But you know what stupid is, as stupid does, and this guy has to be one of the dumbest people you will ever encounter. I mean, he just doesn't seem to learn his lesson, pulled over numerous times for the exact same violations, and never even bothered to read any of the laws that were put in place thanks to the Tenth Amendment. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you playing cereal? Who's that?